how to set up your Samsung Galaxy S4 as a universal remote uh, TV control. Now, if you look at my phone here, if I just gonna press on the power button, TV is turning on. I can uh, use the volume key, the channel key. I can change the source, or I can go directly to a different channel by pressing on a button here. So I can change to a different channel, 25. So go to 25. So basically, um, I can turn off the TV by pressing the power button. Now I can mute. So uh, these are the uh, basic function on the remote control. Now I can also um, tap on the TV here. To, uh, so that it used specifically for my TV, so the remote control can be used for any other devices such as a DVD player, a video player, or other devices. Now, uh, I'm going to show you how to install this uh, software and how to configure it. So first, I'm just going to settings and do more application manager. So what I do now is I'm going to uh, uninstall this. And what we do is we go to the Play Store. Uh, by default, uh, if you download, um, if you have a um, the latest uh, update on your S4, it should all uh, it should automatically try to download, watch on onto your device. Um, however, you can go to Play Store and search for Watch On. So I got here Watch On. So we can uh, tap on the install update button to update and then at the bottom just tap on the accept button so now it's downloading uh, the required software so on uh, the phone here at the top here it has a little small infrared here uh, it's very small so uh, in compared to the remote uh, to the normal tv remote control so when we want to use the remote we have to uh, point the phone directly to the tv Whereas a remote control, you can kind of like um, point it at, a, at an angle. Whereas on the phone, uh, the, the area is very small, so we need to point it directly at the signal for it to work effectively. So once we have um, watch on uh, install, we need to configure it. So um, from the start screen, select the country. So I'm going to select Australia for my region. Then just put in the zip code for your TV station. Now, um, depending on where you live, so select the closest city of where you live for your uh, TV station. Then from here, you can uh, personalize or skip. So you can personalize uh, what you want to watch on uh, the on the TV guide. Then tap on next at the top here. Then tap on done to finish the basic profile setup. Now just uh, read the terms and agree. So that's pretty much um, for setting up your. Um, Samsung remote control. Now if you want to use the remote control directly, there's a small button at the top here, you can tap on the remote. Then tap on setup now. So we'll try to lock our TV brand, then tap on uh, the brand of your TV at, at the moment. Um, by default it shows uh, some of the well-known brands such as Samsung, Panasonic, Sony, Sharp, Toshiba, LG. If you, your brand is not showing up here, you can tap on the more show all the brands down here. So because my TV is LG, I'm going to tap on LG here. So it's loading my device information. Now you need to test um, the button. So you need to point the phone directly at the TV and tap on the power button. So you can see my TV is turned on. 
now then tap on yes this code works and uh, from here tap on my LG TV or whatever your TV brand is so that's pretty much it for setting up the remote control so now while tapping on the remote control here you can see my uh, remote control is available for use I can then uh, press the power, power button to turn it off uh, what's more is that you also have a TV guide here to, in order to use a TV guide you need to have an interconnection to the internet uh, so you need to a a enable Wi-Fi or uh, 3G or 4G on your phone and then from here I can uh, look at the guide to see um, what's available right now at the current time so at my time zone at the moment it's around 3 p.m. so it shows me what's available on the different channels here so I can slide across to see more channels uh, of what's coming up next at uh, 6, 7 or 8 p.m. tonight on which channels now uh, I can also go to the next day if I wanted to so I can check on uh, to see what's available tomorrow now also um, on the TV guide I can uh, select by the categories for example if I want to see what's available for movies right now so because uh, that information is not available on my device at the moment so it's not showing anything so TV shows so the information is also not available for me Okay, so that's all you have to do to use the web control. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more video tutorials.